there, and they just got scanned. Uh, that's an interesting place to scan. I guess he caught a glimpse of one of them. Um, no. Uh, the, actually, the, the patrol feature is actually really fantastic in StarCraft 2. I haven't, I, I've used it sometimes, but I should use it way more to have, like, especially these mutalists, like you mentioned, like, just have them patrol everywhere. Uh, you can hold shift down and have them patrol any which way you mm -hmm. choose to. Send, so, send half of them down south and send the other half um, west along yeah. the, the gorge, and you can shut down that entire half of the map. And then just, you only have to worry about this little, little bit right here in this corner, and you're fine. Yeah. Right? That means you can expand to your gold. You can even take your um, opponent's second natural right here, right be right beside their rocks. It, it's huge, and it does look like he's getting in the back. He is going to focus down the Ghost Academy. I don't agree. He has Marines here that are attacking him. Attack what attacks you first, and then go straight for the mineral line. Buildings come second. Yeah, buildings always come last. Well, for me, because if you take up the units and you take out SCVs, they take more time to produce. Mm hmm um, that if you take down the building last, then, uh, I don't know, you save time and, uh, and you save your units. Well, yep, and again, the mutas aren't doing anything. They need to come in here. That He could probably pick off this siege tank right here if you went in. Yeah. But I agree. You, you take out, you, if you take out all of your opponent's units, the base is free. Take out the units and then go for the base. There isn't a command center in the middle of Elk's base or Alex, or uh, I think it's Alex, but um, the CN, we do have another ghost came in and did do a, a, another nuke drop it looked like, although the minerals are all gone so there's nobody there in the first place. Uh, I'm not sure Oh! Like I don't know if I'm ahead of you or not, but... Oh, nope, it's still there. Nope. I saw still it. There. It just died. Yeah. He lost his overseer though, so that's uh... No, the overseer's still there. He Is lost. It? He lost the queen. Oh, okay. I'm yep. blind. <laughs> he lost the queen, and his lair's sitting at 95 hit points, which, unfortunately, there's no way to heal. Although, he can put some queens and transfuse on that. Okay, he oh, has yeah. so many zerglings, he needs to get those zerglings in to do something. It does look like he is going to be attacking... Nope, never mind. He's going to try and pick off as many of these units as he can. Very, 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 very nice. He, he just went in there, took a little poke, didn't like what he saw, and he pulled out. Um... Although I think he could have stayed in, but it was just a good, good thing that he at least was poking in to see what was there. You always want to have intel, as you say. Battle intel is everything. It is everything, because you can predict. You can um, uh, pretty much do anything with the intel. You know what's coming your way, so that way you don't waste time building a unit that you really don't need at this moment. Like right now, he doesn't really need marauders. He really needs a more. He needs more marines, more tanks, uh, more turrets, and more Vikings, mm -hmm. because. Uh, uh, those mutas will mess up his base. The Marines will counter the mutas, but if they counter Zerglings, you need uh, a much bigger force. Yep. Since the deduction in the tank, it's not going to do as much, and they are upgraded. And now, uh, if you see, I don't know if you see this or not, he's just marking bailings in, so now I his wall is I just saw fail. that, I was going to comment on that as soon as you finished your uh, your thought. And that's, yeah. I like that. Um, I don't think he needs that many, <laughs> but I like it. Um, now, just one thing for El Elix here. Uh, does he have? He does have the engineering bay. If he's not, if he can't move this command center out, at least turn it into a planetary fortress because it's actually placed in a good spot. He can hit, hit both sides, and it turns this into a double choke with a planetary fortress in there, which is quite. It, it's. I don't think it can hold anything off, but it will slow hit. It will slow bleed down, which is key. Yeah, and it does have splash damage, so it will take uh, a, a couple of good links out, or even some bailings. We do have another go uh, nuke coming down on the natural this time. Bleed is doing a really good job spotting where all of these uh, nukes are going off, although he did miss pulling out uh, a couple of... A couple dro one drone, but the other one got inside the uh, extractor in time. Um, but as I was saying, these nukes have just been so ineffective, because Bleed has just done such a good job just watching his map, yeah. Listening but once for that and just reacting well. The nuke needs to be an element of surprise. I mean, uh, if they know you have Bangs nukes, they're going in right now. He needs to. There you go. Detonate on them. Sorry about that battle. It's all right. No. I was just gonna say that. I was like, oh, they're coming. <laughs> but you, you were talking about the nukes. Yeah, nukes are pretty much an element of surprise. Uh, once, uh, once you, they, that your opponent knows that you have a nuke, they will be prepared for it, most likely. So either you have to either distract, um, I have a video actually, uh, of a nuke. I was actually distracting 
me, Him I think with it was. the second base. Was it? No, it wasn't you. You it did was some off. really good nuke work against me, where it was just distracting. It wasn't necessarily doing lots of damage, but what it did <laughs> do was distract me a lot. Yeah, and it's also meant for that purpose. Like, say you get a nuke and you just plant anywhere, like anywhere on the map, you're gonna freak the other person out because they don't know where it is. I think you. Uh, I've seen that done where they just place it in just some random spot where nothing is, and it does look like Bleed is finally able to clean this all up. This looks like it should be GG. If we look at the army tab, it's I think there's one yeah. marine somewhere. Yeah, hiding up in this little corner here. <laughs> yeah. Um, this should be GG. So overall, it, a good job by Bleed. Um, but I do think he needed to expand much earlier and attack much earlier. He had the advantage. His opponent went for ghosts and it failed. When your opponent goes something so gas intensive and mineral intensive, such as a ghost. Um, and ghosts and nukes, you'll probably have the advantage in just tier 1 units. Use that, expand, and just gain map control, which he did He did do a really good job, but he, he could have enforced his map control much, much, much better. Yeah. Um, actually, he, he can do a lot. He can just ride his overlords and a couple drones and made some spine crawlers and make sure that he went push out. That's another idea of Zerg that I like to use. Often or try just put to put it right here at their at their ramp. To just kind of, not necessarily to hold off a put someone pushing out, but just kind of make it harder for them to push out. Yeah, well, especially if they three or four spine crawlers right there in front of their base, um, they can't really push out because it'll destroy any pretty much any tier one unit. Yes. Uh, especially uh, if you don't have tanks in it, you're gonna have a hard time with them. It does look like Bleed finally did find the uh, expansion up here. And <laughs> yeah. Alex leaves. Alex leaves the game. All right. Any last uh, comments, battle? Uh, we'll just go through the overview of both players. Um, both players played pretty much a turtle match. Um, none of them were really aggressive very early game, but Bleed was on the ball. He did take up at the right times. He uh, did expand, but as Zerg, you can expand all throughout the map. Mm -hmm. I like so his first did... expand. I really like yeah. his first expand. It was a good timing, and it was early enough when he knew he had control. He could defend yeah. it. Yeah, well, since I met Bleed, he's actually gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. That is so that makes, Yeah, that makes... Uh, I mean, I'm glad that he actually is getting better from, I guess, my videos and me actually trying to work with him. And uh, Alex really needs some work. He's still not comfortable enough trying to push out. He likes to turtle a lot, like most Terran... First, um, well, new gamers or whatever that play Terran like to turtle up a lot, but turtling up is pretty much just your death sentence. Unless you harass and expand, you will not win the game and you'll have a l harder time winning because most of the time if you leave in a parallel they'll have a higher tech that you don't have yet or uh -huh. didn't scout yep um bleed did eventually get his gold up but he got it extremely late he got it just before his his, fir his first and only push really um he should have gotten that up much earlier he, it's much easier to defend now with these rocks and he did a really good job with immediately placing an overlord there to just watch those rocks um so I really like his overlord placement overall throughout the game. Although there are a few overlords here that don't need to be here over by the creep, that could be spewing creep in other places, but by then he really did have map control and knew what his opponent was doing at all times. Yeah, that's the key thing. You want the scout, you want to have intel throughout the whole game. Uh, if it's sacrificing one or, or a couple units, uh, the intel is pretty much priceless. You need it throughout the whole game. Mm-hmm. All right, so that just about wraps it up. Again, everybody, this is NTL Crazy and Battle Forever. Battle for Sorry, this go ahead. Battle Forever. That's right. This is Battle Forever, uh, and we'll see you guys online. See you guys. This is NTL Crazy signing out.